Once you have the auto tools working, you can of course modify, add source files, and so on. You can do things like, for example, um, pound include config.h. Right now, config configures generating that config.h file, but we're not using it. We can fix that. Every time we add new source files, we need to make sure that makefile.am is modified to note them. Make sure that all your non-generated source files, your .c, .h, whatever, is listed as a source. And of course, make sure you're also you're adding your new files to your SCM. If you're using git, for example, make sure you do a git add. Whenever you want to rebuild things, just run make. Auto make will do automatic dependency calculations for you for C and plus plus C and C plus plus. Of course, most other languages will do that automatically for you. And finally, you can run make disk check to detect some errors uh, before your recipients do detect them. So let's make those modifications, or at least some modifications, and see what happens. First of all, let's modify makefile.am and tell it we're going to have some new files. Let's modify our our hello so that it actually uses config.h. And let's create a wine.h. It's not a very interesting one. But then again, it's not supposed to be. We'll call wine. And rather than you watching me type wine.c, there's a wine.c. Let's make sure that Git knows about it. Now we'll do a make. Compile things. Let's see if hello works now. Yes, it does. Notice that Git knows that makefile.am and hello.c were modified, so we will commit them as well. The makefile.am file can define a number of variables of the form where underscore primary equals targets. This simply creates targets of type primary and puts them in where when they're installed. Where can be a makefile variable ending in dir, so bin simply means the bin dir. That's where you put executables. By default, this is prefix slash bin. Lib means the lib dir. No inst is special, it means they're not installed at all. Check means that they're not really installed, they're created as part of a make check, your tests. The primary is the type of the file. Programs means an executable binary file, scripts means executable scripts, data means data, and so on. You've already seen an example of this, bin underscore programs. Bin is the where, it means the bin directory. Programs means they're executable files. Certain variables that you can set in makefile.am define automake wide values that are defaults. For example, am underscore cpp flags defines the default C preprocessor flags. Same for C flags, which defines the default C compiler flags. CXX flags defines the default C++ compiler flags. Do not set CPP flags, C flags, CXX flags, and similar. They're intended for setting by users, and if you set them in makefile.am directly, it'll interfere with user setting of them. You can also set target-specific variables in a makefile.am. These have the form target underscore specifics equals files. And these set target-specific information, overriding defaults of any. The target name of a, of a variable is the same as the original target name, but any characters not an ASCII alphanumeric nor an at are replaced with an underscore. So target underscore sources lists 
the sort targets and sources source files. You've already seen an example. Hello underscore sources. Target underscore LD add lists extra objects for the program. Target underscore CPP flags lists this target's CP processor flags. So for example, hello underscore CPP flags equals dash D debug would give an additional preprocessor flag, in this case dash D debug, to the C preprocessor. So let's talk about some common AutoTools error messages and what to do about them. For example, in our example, if we added to the makefile.am a hello underscore CPP flags equals dash debug, we'll actually report some errors when we first try. It'll show action requires am underscore such 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 in configure dot ac. That just means that some capabilities prerequisite hasn't been included in configure dot ac, so just modify configure dot ac as instructed. The same is true if it says action requires ac underscore thus and so in configure dot ac. If you see required file not found, auto make add missing can install, then that just means there are some missing auxiliary files. Run auto reconf dash i and that'll solve the problem. And now you know what to do. So let's see these common auto tools error messages. First of all, let's add a target specific CPP, CPP flags. This will fail, and but it tells us why. It says we need to add a, this to a to configure.ac. So let's just do what it says. That was easy enough. We'll do make again. All right. It says I need to use automake dash dash add missing, or at least that's a possibility. When you see that, really the better tool to use here is auto reconf. Which installed it. And now it works. Now let's say that you want to use some libraries. The package config system is the easy way to use libraries. First of all, you need to make sure that your package config is installed. Sadly, not all libraries use package config, but a lot do. In the case where there, you do want to use a library that uses package config, simply add to your configure.ac file, package check modules, depths, and a list of libs. List of libs is simply a space separated list of library names. You can include greater than or equal to version number if you want to be specific about version numbers. This would set depths underscore C flags and depths underscore libs if you use depths as the initial list uh, on package check module. And really, for most cases, you want to put them all in one line, all, the list of all your libraries. In your makefile.am, use these variables. For example, if you say am underscore C flags equals depths C flags and am underscore libs depths libs, and you set your list of libs to all the libraries you depend on, that's all you need to do. In short, AutoTools lets developers create configure.ac and makefile.am files and generate configure and makefile.in files through autoconf, automake, and so on, and use autoreconf to invoke all the right tools in the right order. Those are the basics, but there's more! The modern convention is to create an M4 subdirectory for several internal M4 files instead of merging this information into an internal aclocal.m4 file. And so all you need to do in theory is to create an M4 directory, eliminate the old place for it, tell autoconf to use it by adding to configure.ac this command, ac underscore config underscore macro dir, and add to makefile.am this particular incantation, which basically says go look at the M4 subdirectory. But the problem here is that autoreconf-i fails if there's to create a subdirectory in the first place and, and some SCMs like git won't store empty subdirectories. So this can easily fail to work in certain cases. 
So if you're using AutoConf 2.68, do the above, create the M4 subdirectory and configure it to use it, uh, AutoConf and make AutoMake. However, also create a dummy file in M4. If you're using the SCM, make sure that that dummy file is put in your SCM. And then also add to makefile.am an extra dist underscore uh, extra underscore disk m4 and the dummy dummy file that will force distribution of that file even though it's not a source file then finally autoconf reconf dash i repair everything and from then on your m4 subdirectory is just going to work so let's create this m4 subdirectory first of all i'm going to remove the ac local dot m4 which is where all these m4 macros currently live because we want to move them all to this M4 subdirectory. We'll modify configure.ac. Since, we'll, since this is a configuration like config auxter, we'll put it near that. And we'll modify makefile.am. There we go. Now, that should be all, but as I noted, the problem here is that autoreconf-i doesn't work in the sense that in version 2.68 of autoconf it won't create new directories, and tools like get won't store empty subdirectories, so this can easily happen. So, simple way, let's create a dummy file. Now we need to modify the makefile.am so that this dummy file is distributed. Even though it's not a source or anything else. Now we'll need to run autoreconf-i because we've been mucking up with the internals of the auto tools. But once that's done, it's all set. Now we can run make. It all works. Oh, and I'm going to commit this. And there we go.